The monitor market is extremely weird this year. So OLED popped them to the scene with the QD OLEDs and then some of the micro LED monitors, different things like that. And so before you decide what you're going to buy this year, it's Black Friday upcoming as well as the holiday coming and you're finishing that build of 2022 uh, gaming setup. Let's talk about the monitors that are on the, on the horizon and those that may have just released that may be worth looking at. And so let's jump right into it. There's a lot of information to cover here. MSI has unveiled that they're going to be releasing a new QD OLED. It's going to be called the MEG 34 2C QD OLED. Now, it's undeniable that the Alienware 34, whatever, whatever, whatever it is right now, those names are horrible as always, but it's undeniable that OLED panel technology is the best period technology there is. And with that one being a QD OLED, meaning that it has all of the benefits of the perfect blacks, now along with the quantum dot uh, color, um, it cannot be beat. But with the MSI QD OLED monitor coming out, it's very similar specs. It's gonna have that similar 1800R curve. It's almost like it's the exact same monitor just under MSI. Um, 0.1 uh, millisecond grade to grade response time at 175 hertz, 1800R curve. And so very, very, I, I, I mean, I don't have the other one pulled up in front of me, but it's pretty much like the exact same as the other one. The only difference is that it's gonna have MSI based proprietary softwares and, and programs built into it. It has this feature MSI, it's all new HDMI, human machine interface, um, all that jazz. It makes the picture look better. Okay, jumping into the next one, right? This one is actually the one that I'm actually most excited about. Now, this is the Gigabyte S55U. Now, this is a 55 inch display a smart display it's not just a regular display but this is basically designed to take over your whole setup so whether it's a gaming setup like i have in the bedroom or it's a entertainment setup full setup where you have a pc gaming consoles all of the above 4k uhd right hdmi 2.1 vrr allm earc so that means you can use all of the but uh, all of these um sound bars like the uh, uh, Sonos Arc, the Sonos um, Beam 2, also has a 96% DCI P3 color gamut, and it has HDR10, HDR10+, plus, HLG, Dolby Vision IQ. So it covers all of the HDR formats. I'm almost tempted to replace my 48 inch um, LG CX with this. It just depends on what those black levels are gonna look like, um, as this is not an OLED panel. Um, it's quantum dot display, so it's supposed to have bright, vivid colors. I'm excited about this monitor. It also has full array local dimming um, with 132 zones of local dimming. It's a smart panel. So, I mean, you smart monitor, smart panel, whatever you want to call it. It's like the Samsung M7 and the newly released M8. It has built-in functions, and it's an Android platform. So Netflix, YouTube, Google Play, all of that. But it's a full android platform and so you know the, the crazy thing about this it's the price so right now you have your options of 55 inch um c1 c2 the price on this one is supposed to be a thousand dollars and 99 one thousand ninety nine one thousand dollars ninety nine for a 55 inch monitor with these specs one thousand dollars for all of these features is exciting because you get all of the HDR formats, you get all of you get the built-in smart I got to I got to go on from this and I did a I did a video on this one a couple months back and I and I'll link it here. Um, let's go on to the next one. So this is the Asus 42 inch. Now, there's still not concrete information out there. Asus is quiet about it. They're not saying. So we have a 42 inch OLED panel there's 48 inches well but the 42 inch is the one that i'm extremely excited about which is what i want to put back there and so the 42 inch panel it has it's an oled panel uh, lg display with a heat sink so for some of you late adopters that are afraid to move to an oled panel for your main display built-in heat sink uh, with proprietary systems that is going to keep it at a certain temperature but going beyond that it's going to have hdmi 2.1 it's going to have display point 1.4 4K 120 hertz. It says that the it says that the Rogue Swift OLED displays use fixed rate link FRL, which is tech to unlock the full 48 gigabytes per second 
bandwidth of the two, HDMI 2.1. Um, and it's supposed to go up to about a thousand nits brightness. It's going to cover 98% of the DCI P3 color, color gamut. It's going to have an anti glare matte display that will help avoid any reflections. And so, if you have a bright room or anything like that, typically your OLED will suffer from that environment, but this is supposed to have a matte panel that's going to help with that. So moving on from there, we're moving into monitors that actually just released. There's one that's kind of went under the radar, and that is the LG 32GQ950B. Now this is a 4K 144Hz HDR 1000 certified monitor. It's a 10-bit panel. It's 144Hz 4K. It has 2.1 and 2.0 HDMI. It's G-Sync. Um, it has, all, of course, all the bells and whistles, right? ALMM, VRR. It has um, HDR10 as its color format or HDR format, and then it has RGB on the back. And so you do get this kind of neat, nifty, very, very subtle RGB um, in a 32 inch variant. 32 inch, I think, is becoming the norm at this time. I know, I know people are holding on to 27 inches, but I feel like 32 inches is now the norm. The LG 32 GQ 950B is $12.99 going back to the price. Um, and so it's kind of like that sweet spot, but it's kind of expensive for what you can find on the market. And so I think that's why this one is going under the radar. 42 inch OLED, which is $13.98, I think. So another hundred bucks. Um, but that's kind of also the, you know, the leading us to the next monitor, which is the, it's the ViewSonic Elite 32 inch mini led monitor now it's mini led so before i slide down to this price of two thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars you're like what the twenty five hundred dollars is a lot in today's market when oled is starting to be on the scene and so um i think this this monitor for another year is valid until the 42 inch oled from asus hits the market this fall or this holiday like at $2,500, I don't care what the specs are. That's too much money for a monitor, especially 32 inches. That's just too much money. And, you know, this one is a display. It's, it's a VESA display HDR certified at $1,400 um, mini LED, which is mini LED technology. So it does give you the opportunity to have higher peak brightness. But at three millisecond grade to grade response, even if that's, that's good numbers for a competitive gamer. Um, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one because it's $2,500. That's too much money you can find it right now on amazon slightly used as it says for 1800 that's still too much money for a 32 inch monitor in today's market with what's on the market right now what's on the horizon of the market right now and so moving on this one kind of dropped out of nowhere it's the 27 inch end zone 4k 144 hertz monitor by sony and this one now we just said you or we I just said a second ago that the Alienware 34 inch QD OLED is probably the best monitor on the market. It's kind of understood you right now. But this one dropped about a week ago and this one is coming, you know, with some really cool specs. But, you know, it, it 144 hertz, right? It's ultra fast, as they say, 4K uh, monitor is G Sync uh, compat, is G Sync certified with HDMI 2.1. It's display HDR 600 certified from a brightness standpoint, 95% of the DCI P3 color gamut, and it's a one millisecond gray to gray response time. But from there, it has auto tone mapping for PS5, which I don't like. Everything that I've seen with that benefit hasn't really been like amazing to this point. Moving on from that, just the 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 the, the design is is one of the best in my opinion on the market it's clean it's 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 um futuristic irobot as people keep saying um esque price at 899 for a 27 inch it's kind of steep but pulling up the official specs all of the, it checks every single box hdr 10 and hlg is the color formats or the hdr formatting if you want to use this for other type of content it's a 10 bit true 10 bit panel doesn't say it anywhere, but it's 96 zone of full array local demi, which gives it the most on the market for a monitor of this size. HDR or hardware unboxed just did a video on this and they compared it to a standard 16 zone 
uh, monitor like the Eve Spectrum, which is potentially the same as the LG uh, 27 GP 950 back there that I have because they use the same panel. The Samsung G8 and the Hardware Tech Chap uh, just did a video on this yesterday and talked about it, although he didn't get into any of the controversies that are kind of going on with this. He did highlight the fact that it does go up to 240 hertz using the display port, and you can see that using your NVIDIA panel, although it's not a true 240 hertz right because their display port 1.4 doesn't really get you there what with, with dsc it does get you up to that kind of um but there's a lot in the air on this and so his review did show that it was a really nice panel the only game that he showed was forza horizon 5 which is a very bright game and so this is a mini led panel and so when they when when you don't get the opportunity to see games that are also very very dark i worry about any technology outside of OLED because you kind of want to see what a game that has a single uh, a single focus on the screen with all black around as opposed to the test like the test as we see with Samsung or with other monitors or any manufacturers like now that these tests are so standardized it is very easy to build in programs that will make those tests perform well, right? As we saw with the Samsung QD OLED S95B, that still is a great television, but some of the tests that were ran, we, we found out that Samsung was kind of doing some funny stuff there, right? And so the the it's HDR10+, plus, right? Because it's a Samsung monitor, um, and it goes up to a thousand peak brightness, even though it's, it says it's HDR, Quantum HDR2000 certified, thousand peak brightness that changed recently on the website so there's a lot of funny stuff going on with that but there's a lot of people in the forums that have said that they have nothing but great things to say about it outside of the very aggressive curve um it seems to be a good monitor but for fifteen hundred dollars there's a lot of mm, on this monitor right and so but as we get closer to the christmas or holiday season um more video reviews will start to come out and you'll be able to form a better opinion of that um we're finishing this off with the f 48 u and the reason we're finishing this off with this one is because this is the aorus 48 inch oled monitor that came out about a year ago and it's competing now directly with the lg gq9 what is it 900b which i just did a video on that last week and so i'll link that here so you can go watch that but it's 14.99 as well and so you're going to want to go and look at this one compared to the lg gq 900b before you make the decision to go ahead with that one because this one has been out in the market in a while and it's tried and true and there's a lot of great reviews on this one although the lg gq 900b is by lg and lg display which this panel comes from and so um, apples to apples, um, you know, go and look at it. <laughs> I'll say that. Go and look at it. Um, let's just go through the specs real quick in case you're unfamiliar with this particular monitor. But it is a 48-inch OLED monitor. And it is. Um, it has an anti-reflection matte panel to try to help with reflections. 10-bit, um, 1 millisecond, 120 hertz. It, it's HDR10 and HLG. And so it marks and it, it, it checks all the boxes just like the LG monitor, it's the exact same price. And so in this situation, do you wanna go with LG Ultra Gear, which is like the pinnacle of gaming monitors, right, if you will? Or you wanna go with Oris, although, you know, Oris, they, they've been doing a bang up job on monitors over the last year. They had the FV43U or whatever the case may be. Um, they've been doing a fantastic job on monitors recently. And so um, I wanted to do this quick video because there's a lot of stuff on the horizon there. Right now, again, the Alienware 34 inch QD OLED is probably the pinnacle, but there's a lot of stuff on the market that you may want to look at in the coming months. And you may want to hold off maybe about two to three months before you make that final decision, unless you actually have to pull the trigger right now and dare i say this only because i'm in a really good situation with what i got going on i would even potentially wait until january 2023 to see what's announced at ces 2023 because it would suck to buy something at that holiday season and then see something brand new announced in january right after your 30 days return policy is up so that's all for today as always i look forward to chatting with you in the comments stay cozy in that crazy world and i'll see you in the next video peace